Nico, we achieved what we set out to do tonight, and that was to win the group. Uh, your assessment of a uh, pretty decent game, I thought. Yeah, I think that those games are always a bit strange, like not, not too many people watching it. So it's about us going out there with uh, a plan, a mission, a statement to make. It was a group of individuals that had an opportunity to showcase what they're about. And I think, generally speaking, a lot of that game went how we'd hope it would go. Individuals got to do their thing. Young players got to play against what was a, a pretty strong Bristol team. Um, and they got to see the level. They're James, Jake Richards, Pedro... Uh, Sonny, those guys, Liam Oakes coming on, they get to see the level that they've got to get to. Um, obviously, towards the end, Vinny and Dimmy coming back on, which is fantastic to see those two coming back. Obviously, special mention to Dimmy for getting the goal, written in the stars, 364 days from when he got his injury to come back. He's looked really sharp in training. He's a bubbly personality. He's, he's a popular member of the group, and I think everybody in there is delighted for him and delighted to see him back on the pitch. So, generally good. But we've conceded two goals. There are moments in that game that we've got to be better. In the first half, the shape wasn't quite good enough. The application wasn't quite there. Um, but you're certainly not going to moan overall. I think it had to be Dimitri as well, didn't it? And I'm wondering perhaps what's going through his mind when he comes on in that moment. Because in that year, a lot's changed within the squad. There's plenty of new players that he's had to work with, learn their ways and he's been doing that in training but he's not yet until today had the opportunity to put that into practice in matches. No, I think that, that's that's fair, you know, I mean he, he understands how we play, when we when we play to our structure, we play to our plan and the individuals within that plan showcase their ability, that's who we need to be, that's who we are um, and he brings something that, you know, is, is rare, the way he can beat a man his sharpness, he can go off either foot, he scores goals, he can go back to run defending the back post a couple of times. He, he's a top, top player. Um, so I think, yes, he needs to you know, build his cohesiveness with some of the players that have come in. But at the same time, there's lots of familiar faces there. He's been in it every day at the training ground. Great credit to Mick, the physio, to, to work him for that year and get him to come back in such good condition. Um, and so, yeah, it's a team effort and, and Dimmy's now back and we're happy with that. But there's other players that, that played well tonight. I thought Millie came on and made a difference. I thought Jay Bird was outstanding. He was our outstanding player in the first half. Ben Purrington's playing himself into form. And, and, and Fitzy, you know what you're going to get every week from Fitzy. Uh, so I think everybody contributed today. It's, it's a good performance in that sense. But as we've been saying all season, we feel there's so much more in that group if we can really get going, if we can really start playing as individuals within our units and within the team structure. With that, then, given that you made changes to the lineup uh, this evening, have you seen exactly what you wanted from those players who needed more minutes? That they're now good, yeah, good, more good time? and bad, good and bad. You know, like I, like I say, uh, opportunity. Some players need to understand certain levels they've got to get to. Some players coming back from fitness, exactly what they needed. Reese Cole thought was excellent in the second half, coming back from injury. Um, players that haven't played as many minutes given an opportunity to show that they should be in the team and in the squad ready for Barnet on Saturday which is, is now obviously the most important thing so we're, we're as happy as we possibly can be but we're also in eyes wide open that that was by no means the perfect performance and we've still got a long way to go to achieve what we think we can the younger lags and more minutes for players like Liam Oakes as well more experience in men's football for those players as well absolutely and that, that's the thing they can they can watch they can train with the players the, the, the first team players but nothing replicates playing first team football but nothing can replicate the intensity the extra yard that all of the players have uh, you have to be quicker you have to think quicker you have to move quicker into position and it's, it's one thing playing under 18s or under 21s or going on loan to, to teams around us, which has served us so well. But when they can step out on that pitch in a stadium like this and play against a strong Bristol Rovers team, that's real experience. That's where you get to show what you're about. And sending the supporters home happy, of course, 322 of them here. Made some fantastic noises and seemed like they all enjoyed themselves tonight. Well, I think yeah, you have to play well in those games because you can hear individual comments. So if you're getting battered, you'll hear your name. Um, but they were brilliant, you know. I think it was an entertaining game. You know, we're, we're always a little bit miserable because we're looking through how we can get better. It's the first thing you go to. But you know, I think as a game, as a spectacle, it was quite exciting. Three-two is a is a good game to go and watch. And uh, and luckily we came out, or not luckily, deservedly we came out um, at the other side of it. And they were there to watch and cheer us on. 
Well, if it was any consolation, you didn't look miserable from my perspective. Uh, well, we try not to. We try not to. <laughs> Cheers, Nico. Cheers.